Well, here I am back doing round three of hydraulic fluid testing. Welcome back. Uh, so I've got four new brands. I've got Schaefer's, Agra UTTO, Napa, and Shell Rotella HD. Going to get all four of these sent off to Blackstone for lab testing. Um, also, uh, all four of these containers, by the way, I just brought outside. They've been inside, so they're warm. So when I shake them up, get all the additives that maybe have uh, fallen out of suspension uh, mixed in. Uh, I know the fluid is 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 warm, and you know that you know mixing is going to go well. Uh, so I'm going to get these things poured out right now and get them shipped off. So while I'm pouring that fluid out, I'll show you that. I'm going to give you a little history here. Uh, but first, I want to say this video is not sponsored. I've purchased all of these materials myself with channel money. You guys know, whatever I make on this channel, I put right back into the channel, almost to the penny. Um, so no outside influences here, number one. Um, number two, this, is, this makes 13, 13 total hydraulic fluid brands that I've tested between the four in this video and the prior two videos. Plus, there was Permatran that I tested new, virgin, plus used. And I should say all, the, all of those 13s were virgin samples, freshly cracked open uh, bottles that were sent off to the lab. So the other reason to test these is that you're looking for equivalencies. And when you see these equivalencies stated on the back of the bottles, they're the opinions of the manufacturers based on the tests they've done, or I should say the brand names, because a lot of times the brand name you see on the container for hydraulic fluid, that is just the brand, and that's not the company that blended it. But then also, at least I know in the case of Massey Ferguson dealers, many of them do not sell Permatrain 821 XL. Uh, they sell alternate brands. I'll show you a picture here of the brand that my local dealer sells. And I've heard numerous stories where uh, dealers just don't sell the Permatran. Uh, so people are left looking for an alternative. You know, it's not necessarily the case that they're trying to be cheap or trying to uh, find something that's better. Uh, they're just looking for something that's going to work. So then if you go online and ask this, all you'll hear is, well, I've been using such and such brand for X number of hours and never had a problem. Uh, but that's, as I like to say, that's kind of how problems are. Uh, you don't know it's a problem sometimes until it creeps up. And if you go, I think this, I'll show a screenshot here in some of the Agra uh, UTTO uh, literature, you'll see that some of the differences in these fluids, you're not going to see them immediately. Maybe not after 100, 200, 300 hundred hours, it's going to be a little further down the road where this wear uh, may become more extreme uh, if you've got uh, an inferior fluid in your tractor. Okay, so that's the history here. Um, so as you know, I send these off to uh, Blackstone for lab testing. Um, and I also then keep a sample for myself and I do the cold pour test. So I put these samples in my deep freezer. It's about negative eight Fahrenheit in there. And then I do a pour of them and time the, the run of the pour, and I provide you those results. So it was kind of interesting in this case because I didn't think I was doing a round three video, so I had to make up a little cardboard jig to run my four fluids. So I ran them and then I thought, man, you know, I'm trying to keep this as apples to apples as possible. I really need to just get another piece of PVC and pour on it because this cardboard could be slower than the PVC. So I did that. And then I come up with an even uh, stranger problem. I ended up having the uh, Permatran that I had on the shelf, was not a virgin bottle though, poured uh, at 15.8 seconds versus the prior sample was only 10.8. Uh, and it did that on cardboard and PVC. So all of, I, I just wonder if maybe my times here were a little slower because everything was cold this time, even like the PVC, you know, everything outside versus last two rounds they weren't. I don't know, but it's definitely a lesson in realizing that single sample tests aren't going to, <laughs> never are going to give you perfect results. You need averages. You need numerous tests to get to the answers uh, on a lot of this stuff. But having said that, I'm going to provide you with the PVC run cold pour times for all four fluids. I'll put those on the screen now and show you the cold pours that I did. Um, as I mentioned, you know, Permatran was longer this time. Um, but, you know, Shell, Napa, A Agra, and uh, Schaefer's really did well uh, in this test. Okay, so as I mentioned a few minutes ago, 
uh, you know, I did the sampling, sent it off to Blackstone, got the lab test results back. At the end of this video, I'll paste in the uh, screenshots of the lab results just for these four fluids, and then I'll give you all of the fluids uh, together, all 13 fluids that I've tested. And then I'll give you another screenshot showing all 13 fluids from a spec perspective. And keep in mind the specs for brands like the Tractor Supply Traveler and the Royal King uh, Providence, there are no specs. They will say what their equivalencies are as far as what specs they meet, but they won't give you specs like uh, viscosity, uh, Brookfield, things like that. Uh, I, or if they're out there, I'm not able to find them. So then the one glaring uh, omission, I guess, from all of this is the base oils. I have not touched on base oils. And I do suspect that that kind of matters. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt when you jump ahead here and uh, look at these uh, results tables. It's like when you see, and I'll just use pick on Kubota, for example. Uh, Kubota has significantly less additives uh, than all the other fluids I've tested. Uh, and I can only assume that that's because their base oil composition is of higher quality and requires less additives. Or they've tested and the interaction between the additives they have in their fluids and the base oils they have in their fluid produces just as good or better of a product than if they had used inferior base oils and more additives. Now, do I know that to be fact? No, I don't. But that does seem to be the only really logical explanation. I have posed this uh, in the comments to Messix, and Neil did reply at one point, but uh, I'd really like if he could uh, reach out to his experts and give us the answer on this. Okay, so what did I find here? Uh, you know, I guess in this latest round with Shell, Napa, Agra, and Schaefer's, um, I found that they're all pretty good fluids. Uh, they're not, uh, just like really the other brands that I tested, there were no brands here that were just obviously uh, avoid them, don't buy them. Uh, I mean, maybe you could look at a brand like Walmart Supertech or maybe Traveler or Providence and be suspicious of their specs or their quality control or even their variation in quality batch to batch. But there were no, uh, so to speak, turds in the punch bowl here uh, across all 13 brands that were just, you know, red flag avoid. So let's sum this up and give you some recommendations here, uh, some takeaways so you don't have to comb through all these charts. And uh, well, you can and do it for yourself, but I'm gonna give you my opinions here. First category is going to be best alternative to Kubota UDT2. And the winners there, Amsoil, Agra, UTTO, and Schaefer's. I think they're the best mostly from a viscosity standpoint. It's kind of hard to compare the additives of some of these other fluids to Kubota since Kubota is so much different, uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, those three as the best alternatives in my opinion. So then second category here is, well, which ones are closest to Permatran 821XL, which everyone should know. I've got the Massey, so that's kind of relevant to a lot of my viewers. So for those two, I'm gonna have to say that Mobile Delvac and Shell seem to be the winners uh, overall as far as being the, just the closest in spec to from train 821. Now maybe Amsoil, maybe Agra, maybe they're better, maybe they're, they're being uh, thinner, I guess, in the lower temps, maybe that's better for those, but I'm just, again, trying to go closest to Permatran. Okay, so now let's switch over to the best value, and this excludes Kubota, okay? So just because really Kubota is sort of in its UDT2 seems to be in its own little category. Um, so the best non-Kubota comparison here, the best value, of a name brand, so value meaning specs and price kind of bundled together, it's gonna to be Lucas and Mobile Delvac. They seem to be uh, dollar per dollar, you're getting the best uh, fluid for your money. And then if you wanna go best value and you're not really caring too much about name brand recognition, uh, and that's a valid uh, comparison because you know Lucas and Delvac, they're probably not blending uh, these, You know they're paying uh, Warren or Valvoline or someone else maybe to blend them, I don't know. Actually, Delvac may be blending theirs. Uh, but it's, it's perfectly valid to say, well, Walmart's probably paying a big company to blend theirs, so why should I care about the Supertech label? But you know, looking at these, I've got three of them listed. So I think Walmart Supertech, uh, Tractor Supply Traveler, and Royal King uh, Providence are in the uh, non-name brand best value category. All of them performed well. Uh, you'll note like in my first video, 
I poured in the Traveler just looked different than the other brands, had a different coloring, um, but it actually performed pretty well in the lab testing. And then the last category is just best overall fluids that I've tested. So for those two, I've got to go with Amsoil and Agra UTTO. Um, I think they were uh, really good fluids. Uh, Schaefer's was good. Kubota UDT2 was good. I mean, they were all really good fluids, but if I had to pick, I'd pick those two. And kind of one of the biggest reasons is they're both full synthetic. So a lot of people will say that UDT2 is full synthetic. Read closely. It is not. Uh, it is a, a synthetic performance or, you know, whatever marketing info they have on the bottle, but it is not a full synthetic. Okay, so that's it. I am not planning around for a video, but hey, who knows? Uh, one thing I will say here, though, is I do want to kind of leave one takeaway, which is that one thing I think we've definitely proven is that the OEM fluids are good fluids. Uh, they're good products for what you're paying. And I don't think you're paying a whole lot more per gallon than you are on most of these other higher quality fluids. To save money, you've got to go down to like a tractor supply brand or Royal King brand. Uh, Mine is like Delvac and Lucas. They they're, seem to be pretty good. But the OEMs overall tested and performed really well, especially Kubota UDT2. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you want to see uh, more details on the previous fluids that I tested, I'll link down in the description to round one and round two videos uh, with those details. Uh, please you know, watch those. Like I said earlier, all of the money I make on this channel right now goes right back into the channel. Uh, so you, I, I'm ad supported. I don't have any of that other stuff going on. I don't have any product support or uh, sponsor support from any companies or nothing like that. It's all from you. Watch my videos, clicking the like button and getting the views so I get the ad revenue so I can sink it right back to, into the channel. So please post in the comments. Anything else you want to see tested? Um, any other information that would be good? I can get other videos out, uh, things I can buy. Uh, I'm happy to do it. I just kind of need to know uh, what you are interested in seeing. So as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.